Welcome back folks to Let's Play The Dig, and when last we left off, there have been some developments. Firstly, and most importantly, Brink is dead. While digging where the apparition had uh, pointed them towards a small hole that was uh, in the ground, that had um, an area beneath it that um, they are now in, well, they are all technically in there, unfortunately, Brink fell down and died. That's the technically part. Whereas Lo and Robins are now exploring separately in this area, Brink is dead. Which means that there's now only two of them. And they've lost the, um, archaeologist, which means that they've lost a very important set of skills in an area which appears pretty much abandoned. And while, uh, Maggie is currently looking around and trying to decipher a language she's got no point of reference for, Lo currently has sort of been assigned to turn the power back on, if that's even possible if there are even lights here, and also uh, basically has found another one of those panel things, which uh, they triggered to actually get to this uh, world in the first place. But more importantly, right now, we found another one of these rods. Let's have a look and see what it is. We can actually uh, click the right um, mouse button to access the um, inventory, and let's have a look at it. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. Let's grab it anyway. More importantly, let's have a look at it while it's in our inventory. And now you can see why they're important. Because they're actually some kind of uh, combination. As you saw the panels before, they had um, various um, symbols. That is an important thing to actually know. And now that we know what that is, maybe we can look at the one that we already have. It's a rod. Engraved. Five geometric shapes. Okay. I imagine it's not important to actually know what those shapes are right now. Let's go and have a look at uh, this and see if it will open this door. So what we know is if we uh, cycle through here and we get to a blue square... Let's have a look here. There we go. Blue square. Was it blue triangle? Or have I actually uh, completely uh, misread the actual device? I think I've misread it. Yeah, it was blue and red, not blue and blue. It was blue, red, blue. Are they actually... Um, I don't know if they're actually changing. I don't think they are. So it's a blue diamond. It is a red square, a blue, the crystal sort of shape, and a green square. Let's solve a puzzle, shall we? Let's solve a puzzle. So, oh, it's already um, actually saved that. It's already saved that, which is handy. So we'll just do uh, one double check. Yep, we want the actual diamond shape and not the square one. That's the one we want. Then we want a red square. Then we want a blue crystal. Let's have a look here. Is it... That one we want? And then a green square. What was a... It was a blue crystal. Ah, right-clicking doesn't seem to go back to the uh, other location. However, blue crystal, I think we've pretty much got there. And a green square. Let's find the green square. Is that right? Let's double check. That looks right. Ah, no, we want a blue one there in green. Yep. Yeah. Or maybe I've got the wrong kind of crystal. No, that does seem right. Blue, red, blue. That does seem right. So let's see if we can open this door. Shut tight and I don't know the magic word. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's move on, shall we? There must be an area over here. There's more of those plants. There's also probably an area... There's a dark tunnel. Yeah, we don't really want to go into that dark tunnel just yet. We could look at the dark tunnel, mind you. It's dark in there. This is exactly the kind of place my mother always said I should stay out of. Well, we're probably going to have to explore there. Maybe the flashlight will help. Hmm. 
maybe. Nothing so far. Ooh, light. Yep, that's light. Well, this is certainly not what I was expecting. This certainly seems like an important area. Of some variety. There's a lot of geometric shapes here. Just like everywhere else. Ooh, buttons. And more buttons. I wonder what this is. Maybe a computer? It's a control panel. And that's probably a control panel too. It's a control panel. Probably don't actually know what I want to be pressing on this. Maybe being able to look here might help. It's a rod. Engraved. Five geometric shapes. Hmm. Well, I bet we probably don't know what we're doing here. I did something. That did something too. Hmm. It does something, but I don't think we really know what we're doing with it. Maybe we could um, get Maggie's help. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robin's here. I read you. Found anything out? Do you think that apparition meant anything? Oh, it's a repeat. I'm not sure, but it seemed to focus on that spot. Nope, there's... Thanks. There's nothing interesting there that's, uh, new, rather. So, let's, uh, let's leave this particular area. Hmm. Nothing particularly useful. We could go back through here. Ah, it automatically used the, uh... Ooh, there's a ramp here. It automatically used the flashlight there, which is useful. Anything particular about the ramp? Yes! There is. It's hot here. And it's glowing down there. Yes, it is. Ten to one, it's the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch, or the plug, or the fuse box, or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. Maybe a map, and I could use a sandwich, and a hot jukebox and a cold beer, or just a starship headed for home. Yeah, I'd be frustrated too, Boston. I would be frustrated too. Hmm. There's a triangular button here. And there's also the edge that we could look down. There was an item down there. We actually probably want that item. That. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. We probably can't grab it. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. Nope, we most certainly cannot grab it. There we go. If we click the edge here, it'll bring us back up. Now, there was indeed a panel here. Or rather, a set of triangular buttons. Maybe there's a combination for them. Hmm. Let's have a look. Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all? Hmm. Maybe we could use the rod on it? Let's give it a go. It won't do anything. Okay. Is there another? Ooh, there's another panel here. Okay. Ah. Well, I'm not entirely sure which one of these we want to use. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, this is some sort of uh, puzzle here. We need to click the right thing, so... That's correct. That's correct. Correct? No. Let's have a look. There we go, that's right. That's not right. That's completely wrong. Alright. I'm going to start writing these down, every single row that we get, because I want to make sure I get these right, so... Green, red, yellow, blue. Trial and error. Another red. Purple. Okay. Not that one. Not that one at all. So. Actually, I'm also going to make a little map here. So that is... Green. Red. Yellow. And that's blue. And that's purple. And that is... The wrong one. Alright. That's not right. Ah, I want green next again. <laughs> then another purple there. And then... Not that one. Okay. This may take a little while, but we'll get there. Hmm. And then it was... That one, which was purple. And then red, purple, and green. Alright. That's actually, um, they're not actually the same size, are they? There's four and then three and then four. So, so far, it's green, red, yellow, blue, purple, red, purple, green. <laughs> and that cancels everything. Hmm. And then red, purple, and then green. Blue. Alright, blue. Yellow? I'm getting it's probably very wrong, aren't I? Yeah, this is not actually what I think it is at all. That's a cancel button. That's a back button. Yeah, okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this now. That's cancel. That's back. Yeah, I don't think that at all is what I think it is. And that's interesting, the fact that there is a... Uh, curious nature to this puzzle is the sense that you look at a puzzle like you do in Myst and you see this could be a potential solution and then in fact it isn't it isn't at all hmm I don't think we have the uh, solution to this at all so we're going to need to find the solution here I don't think we're going to be able to find it uh, anytime soon but let's keep exploring for now <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Hmm. But there's a way down, and there is some sort of puzzle there that we don't yet have the solution for. There are various panels that we don't know um, what they do. And we've circled around. Hmm. We have circled. That is not good. So I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, solve whatever's down there. I wonder if uh, Maggie has anything to help us with that. Robins, this is low. Robins here. What is it? Nope. Nothing. Never mind. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. There's no sort of hint either. No sort of hint. Not that I could see, anyway. I mean, the dark tunnel didn't, uh, yield anything. Let's go back down that ramp. There's clearly something that we're missing. Oh, it's showing us this this time. That's quite neat. We missed that before. It didn't show us that whatsoever. Maybe we should look at the panel this time round. We didn't look before. Hmm. That's not very helpful. Okay. It's a puzzle, and we need a solution. Hmm. 
I mean, if we, um, just press things, like, say, that. I mean, we could literally fill this whole thing up, couldn't we? Yep, we could... Oh, we can't fill it that far. Why can we not put a, um... A red one, more than one per row? Hmm. That is interesting. We can only put one red in a row. We can have as many blues as we like. And as many green. And as many yellow. What about purple? And as many purple, we can only have one red. We can only have one red. Hmm. We can only have one red. And the triangular button doesn't seem to be doing anything in particular. We can have a look at it. Hmm. That's not really going to help. Nothing happens. You get that sort of thing when you get to a point-and-click adventure game where you feel like you're missing something. But there isn't actually that much to miss, so to speak. Because down here is just this. And Hot, we... glowing. Yep. If it isn't the power source, maybe I'm on the edge of hell. No, I don't think you are. We just want that lens at the moment. But we need to actually figure out this puzzle. We need to figure out this puzzle. I suppose what we need to do is we need to just uh, start inputting things. Let's see, what if we put in, say, a few things? Like, we just press some buttons randomly. Like, say, that. We exit, and then we press this button. What does it do? Okay, that helps, because that means that um, it corres these commands correspond to directions, I think. Did you see it was sort of moving in a certain way? So what we need to do... Ah. Hang on. Hang on. What if that was left, that was up, that was right, that was down, and that was neither of them? What if instead we say went... Like that, and down, and more left? What if it was that instead? What if it was that? Let's try that. I'm going to test my theory here. What does it do if we tell it, if my theory's right? Yes, it is right. And by that logic, I was actually nearly there. Okay. So let's clear that a little. Let's have another one of those. Two of them. Will it actually make it go over the lens? Hmm. Let's have a look. Nearly. 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 Oh, I accidentally pressed that again instead of the, um, the other one, but... That was four across, and two. So what if I were to add the red one? I don't know what the red one does. We're about to find out. Let's see what the red one does. The red button may make all the difference. Let's find out what it does. Grabs things. However, it grabbed it and then took it away. Hmm. We sort of needed to do something else, don't we? It's got the lens, but it's not doing anything right now with the lens. At all. Also, I just saw a loose plate. Where was that? It was somewhere near here. There, there. Loose plate. I saw that. There's a loose plate here. It's a loose plate. Why don't we take it? Ah. 
Ah, there's a blue crystal here. Of some variety. It's a glowing blue crystal. Well, we all know the um, trope of adventure games. If it's not nailed down, take it. If it is nailed down, find something to take out the nails and then take it. Oh. It powers that, does it? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So what if I were to now use this? What does it do now it's holding on to the actual uh, lens? Will it put it back? No, it won't. It won't. Hmm. We need to move it somewhere. We need to move it somewhere. But I think that will come next time. For now, we've finally figured out what that thing actually does, and with no actual, um... Instructions trying to figure out alien technology is really, really difficult. But we will endeavor to endure. And we figured out that that blue crystal does some sort of powering up of something. It's gonna be important, I'm pretty sure of that. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. For when we come back, we'll figure out this puzzle. One way or another, we'll get that lens. I'm sure it's useful for something. Maybe that area full of crystalline stuff that we saw on the other side of this area. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.